What do we have here? What are you doing out here by yourself, little one? Uh-uh-uh. Don't scream. The woods are home to all sorts of nasty creatures. And trust me, you don't want them to know where we are. Tell me, what's such a precious little thing like yourself doing out here this late at night? And why are you... alone? You know the creatures here will hunt you down if you're alone. <laughs> no, I'm not talking about the pesky animals. I mean something more... monstrous. If you aren't careful, you may become prey for the lichens, spirits, or maybe even vampires. Oh? Not real? <laughs> Do tell. Hmm, I see. But do you truly believe that? You aren't stupid, are you? You know better. Why are you backing away? Are you frightened? I'm not going to hurt you. <laughs> Darling, if I wanted trouble, you wouldn't have seen me coming, I can assure you. Hmm? What have you got there? <laughs> A holy symbol. So... You know what I am. Clever boy. Look, I've been watching you from the shadows ever since you arrived in these woods. And I saw you stumble earlier. I can smell the scent of blood wafting from your leg. You're wounded. And you're lost. I have a proposal for you. My brother and I live very close by. I can take you to our home. We can help you. And you can rest until the morning, when it's safe. And trust me, you're not going to want to say no. If I leave you alone, the scent of blood will attract all sorts of creatures. One's not as... friendly as me. You have my word. No harm will come to you. Just come with me. Pretty please? Very well. If you want to keep your holy symbol drawn, I guess I can't stop you. Follow me, but stay close. Here we are. Yes, it's a humble den. It's not much to look at on the outside, but it's far cozier on the inside. Like a hobbit hole, if you're familiar with the concept. Hmm? Are you alright? You look tired. Oh dear. You're losing consciousness. We need to get you patched up, and quickly. Hang in there. You're in good hands. Ethan, I'm home, and I brought company. Welcome back, Silas. What company did you bring? Is it a dryad? Or another were-raven? No. A human. A human? Oh my. I haven't seen a human in such a long time. <laughs> and such a handsome human at that. Oh dear. He's hurt. What happened? He nicked his leg walking through the thicket. Poor thing. Oh, how awful. Lay him down on the couch then. I'll get the remedies. I hope vampire remedies still work on humans. You're lucky. This is real fur you're laying on, and you're about to have two lovely vampires fawning over you. Most humans would literally kill to be in your position, little one. Now lie still. Silas, I'm going to need some bindings for the wound. Of course. I'll go get some. Watch over him, would you? Of course. Shh. Lay your head back down. Lie still. You're okay. You're safe now. It's a good thing Silas brought you here. You wouldn't have lasted much longer alone out there. Especially at this time of night. Shh. You don't need to be afraid. I'm sure you've heard all sorts of scary stories about us. Ooh, vampires, terrifying. But I promise, we don't have any intention of hurting you. Silas has gone to get some bindings for your leg, and when he comes back, I'll use some of our homemade remedies to heal you. Alright? 
That's it. Good boy. Now, let's take a look at this wound. Hmm. It isn't too bad. I'm sure we can mend this in a heartbeat. <laughs> Just a little, um, joke to put you at ease because, um, we don't have heartbeats. Vampire thing. Don't worry, though. You'll be alright to walk, but try to watch your step on the way home. We could lend you a light if that would help. I'm back. How is our guest settling in? Fine, just fine. He's gotten quite comfortable. Are we ready to begin? Yes. I haven't practiced the old ways in a little while, but it shouldn't be hard. Now lie still, little one. <sighs> hmm? Yes. Ethan is my brother. <laughs> yes, I suppose it is a little confusing. Our dad was born and raised in Vancouver, while our mother was a vampire from London. They met on one of dad's trips to London, No, where... no, you're telling it wrong. They met on one of father's excursions to London, and they were married a few months later. I inherited our mother's accent, while Silas inherited our father's Canadian tongue. That's certainly one way to put it. At any rate... We're still related by blood, I can assure you. Now, about that wound. You look cozied up now. Tell me, what's someone like yourself doing wandering the woods alone at this time of night? Surely you weren't just doing it for the air. These woods can be quite dangerous. Aw, look! He's too shy to say. Such a cutie. It's alright. You can tell us the truth. I promise you we won't judge. Ah. Mm, I think we've all been there. Feeling lonely and needing space to clear your head. Oh, you poor thing. To feel alone is a truly dreadful feeling. I can't imagine how I would get by without Silas by my side. Aw, oh, you're too sweet. But you're the one who does all the housework. If it were up to me, we'd still be napping on leaf piles or hanging off of trees. True. But I wouldn't know the first thing about hunting and cooking. Or blending in with other humans. Experience is a wonderful thing, Ethan. Perhaps if you came with me on my adventures, you would learn how to do the same. Mm. No thanks. I'm perfectly happy here, where it's free from the stakes and pitchforks and crucifixes. At any rate, I'm sorry that you feel so alone, darling. It was a good idea to try and clear your head by taking a walk, but please pick a safer location next time. Or have someone accompany you. I personally wouldn't mind leaving the borough if it was for your sake. If I give you my number... Um, maybe you could text me the next time you wanted some company. <laughs> yes, we're vampires, not cave people. We have phones just like you humans do. Figuring out how to charge them was a bit tricky, but we found a way. So, what do you say? Ethan? <laughs> what? Are you jealous that I asked him first? Yes. It's unfair that you get to do all the talking while I'm focused on the healing. All right, all right. We'll trade places. But think about my offer, okay? Hmm. You do look cozy, wrapped up in pelts like that. Tell me, how are you feeling? Any better yet? No, I don't mean the wound. Although I'm glad that's doing better. How do you feel mentally? A little better? That's good. Are you still frightened? Or have we made our docility clear? Glad to hear it. And if those nasty feelings of loneliness ever come back, remember this. There's a difference between being unlovable and being someone that just hasn't found love yet. You're young, and you still have so much time left. And looking at you, I'd say you just haven't met the right people or persons yet. <laughs> Are you sure? Mm. 
I mean, I could be standing right here. <clears throat> we could be standing right here, thank you very much, Ethan. In any case, don't give up, little one. Not just for your sake, but for the sake of the person you haven't met yet. Alright, consider that a humble request from me. Also, Silas, did you have a lick of his blood while I was talking to him? What? Um, whatever do you mean? Silas, though it has been a while since you've had human blood, you know better than to drink the blood of our guests, especially without consent. Uh, I am so sorry. Please forgive me. It has been a while since I've had human's blood. I just couldn't help myself. I promise. All I did was take a small lick while you were distracted. Not anything serious. It just smelled so good. And with that cute face of yours, it's so hard not to just lean in and nibble a little on your neck. Uh, Silas. Are you going to scold me again? No. You're, um, making me want to take a drink now. Uh, in any case, I've finished binding your leg. It's been disinfected, and we've applied a healing salve to speed up the mending process. The wound has also been cleaned by my thirsty brother. I said I was sorry. Oh, <laughs> no need to thank us, little one. It was truly our pleasure. Although, you are more than welcome to sleep here if you want. It's been a long time since we've had visitors, and the sun won't rise for a while. Don't worry, we'll keep you safe, and we'll take very good care of you. <laughs> mm, I'm glad to hear it. Just don't forget to give me your number before you go in the morning. And me. I would love to get to know you a bit better, if you don't mind. Silas... Would you be a dear and take these back to our medicine cabinet? I'd like some time alone with our guest. Of course. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Why, I'd never! Are you feeling better now? Good. May I make a request? I would like to nibble a small bit on your neck, if you don't mind. No, 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 I, I won't take any blood. I would just like to press my fangs against your throat and... What is it you humans say? Nom on it a little bit? Please. It's very relaxing for me and... It feels nice. Oh, thank you. I, I promise, it, it doesn't hurt at all. Mm. Mm. Ethan, mm. just what do you think you're doing? Mm. Enjoying myself. Mm. Not the consent of our guest. Really? Then I don't suppose our guest would mind if I had a piece too. Mm. fell asleep. No. Mm. Then we should let him rest. Mm. You know, I'd forgotten what it's like to speak to a human, especially a human that isn't afraid of us. Indeed. Such a cutie. Both awake and asleep. 
If only all humans were just like that. If only. Have a pleasant sleep, little one. We'll watch over you until morning. And remember, nothing is set in stone. Your feelings of loneliness will not last forever. I know it. One day, you will understand your value in this world. And until then, stay strong.